white supremacy kids today need every advantage they can get, and that begins with the right workout. And Eddie Enriquez is here with us to show us that. All right, you have a, this is really kind of an avant-garde thing here you're talking about. It's basically what? You basically train athletes, young kids from ages 8 to 18, mm -hmm. to be better at their sports, whether it's softball, soccer, football, volleyball, it doesn't matter. Starting at 8. Starting at 8. Um, you know, you, a lot of people question that. But mm -hmm. when you look at, like, young gymnasts, you know, they start at 3 and 4 doing these, you know, pl super plyometric movements, mm -hmm. and they're really not prepared for that. And what this training does is help stabilize key joints like knees. You hear a lot of knee problems lately. And um, this kind of, kind of training helps prevent those types of injuries. So, so it's, that's a, the, it's kind of a preventative or trying to teach you how to work out. But I mean, I, I, kids that are lifting weights, it's just sort of, it's, it's a bit of a you know, concern for me in terms of like their bones are still growing and things like mm -hmm. that. It's okay? Well, it's, it's, it's lightweight. Okay. okay? It, the way it's explained the best, it's, you know, when you, when you throw a baseball, mm -hmm. okay, you can throw it up, you know, 100 feet. I can throw it 200, but anyway. All right, okay. awesome. <laughs> but if you threw, like, a, a, a wiffle ball, mm -hmm. it only goes about, you know, 10 feet because it's too light. Right. Eventually, your body weight's not enough. So mm -hmm. you need a little bit more resistance. And something in the middle, you know, helps you with that. Right. And that's how you can get better. The core resistance, too. Right. Okay, but speaking of, we've got um, lovely Chad down here. He's our, he, Chad, you're 17, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so what, what, Chad's, he's a soccer player and a football player, and so he, he came to you, why? Well, Chad wanted to get faster and more powerful, uh, mm -hmm. more explosive, okay. uh, that's really the word in, in sports, mm -hmm. and um, so what we do with him is, you know, we, we do a lot of core work, okay. and then we also do a lot of explosive movements, which we'll show over here with, with some of the other So kids. what's a, some of, the, you're set up for core work, I imagine, that's not a very explosive position you're in there. <laughs> okay, so what's the core work here? So right now, Chad's going to do some bridges, basically, mm -hmm. to you know, come up and stabilize his entire body. You know, this okay. is pretty easy for Chad. He's, he's, he's much more advanced than that. Um, actually, why don't you come up and just do some leg curls? I can do leg curls. Let me try leg curls with you. Okay. Well, I can't do those. Okay. Hips up, oh up in the gosh. air. So this puts a lot of, a lot of uh, resistance on the hamstring, and you're coming up at the same time. How his does entire that feel? Core. Feels Good. His face, you guys, his face is turning bright red, like, and it's not because he's embarrassed, okay? He's like, all the, all the blood is in his head. It feels good? Yeah, right. Yeah, it hurts. Um, okay, Chad, come, come talk to us for one second. I just want to know, first of all, you know, you're saying you're a football player and a soccer player, okay? Mm -hmm. You have a coach. Why doesn't the coach suffice? Well, uh, I started about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. and wanting to get uh, stronger and faster. Mm -hmm. and bigger and within a month uh, my vertical increased my vertical is how high you jump yes mm -hmm. and my, my speed on the 40 we time in 40 mm -hmm. and it went down two tenths of a second which is a lot that is a lot uh -oh. uh, and I got bigger without losing any of it and that, that's really and it's it's hard to equal out uh, football and soccer because in football you want to get big and soccer you want to be blind yeah, okay, ready you know, to go. Yeah, but, but let's talk too about you know we we've, we've seen you increasing your core and you've increased your forty time and your vertical. But what about these kids over here? Let's talk about what they're doing. First up, whoa, she's doing a hang clean of some sorts, right? See right here, Jamie right here is doing uh, some some squat work. Mm -hmm. Again, it's good for the you know good for leg strength. Um, you know the entire this exercise right here was her putting the dumbbells up in the air. How old is she? His entire entire core. She's thirteen. You look amazing. You look, look at her. She's got better quads than most like men, adults, you yeah, know, she, with like she, really just. Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, her sister Kelly, are little studs. What you know, does she play? The does center. she play something? They're softball players. Okay, softball players. Yes. Cool. Okay, up next. He, so before he kills himself. Here we got Critter doing some ladder work. This is agility work, you uh -huh. know, quick feet, quick mo feet. Mo moving different planes of motion, mm -hmm. forward, sideways, angular. Mm -hmm. And who's, your, who's helping you out here? This is uh, one of my trainers, this is Keon. Okay, Keon, Keon is also a, a, a cap athlete. Oh, okay. he, uh, he came to me initially training for football, mm -hmm. and um, he's, a, he's a great success story. His vertical jump went up eight inches uh, oh and gosh, increased uh, two tenths of a second on his 40 time. And, and this young lady here. And uh, this is Kelly. Kelly is also a softball player, it's Jamie's mm -hmm. sister. And right now she's doing some box jumps. Um, again, to, when, you, when you look at sports, you, you have to move quickly and, and explosively. So we do, you know, right there, that motion is, is, is very typical. 
for what we do. Right. That's like that's also good for like a volleyball move or something like that. Right. Okay. Finally, what I would want to know is affordability. I'm sending my kids mm -hmm. to school. They're part of a, a, a sports team. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm thinking that's going to be enough. And as we heard Chad say, it really helped him improve o up and above over what his coaches were doing. Do you work with the high school coaches or the junior high coaches? I do. I've worked with several of the high school coaches, mm -hmm. and in some cases, I, I run their summer programs. And, okay. Um, so I, we're, I work very closely with the coaches in high school and the clubs. Clubs uh -huh. are really, you know, where, where the kids are, you know, going now mm -hmm. in order to go to the next level, which is college. College and, yeah. and trying out for scholarship. That's right. That's right. You got, you got prospects, scholarship prospects here? Yeah. All right. Everybody out there who just watched him, he wants a scholarship. All right. Football or soccer? Okay, soccer, just take note. All right. Just, uh, just note on, on, uh, on Chad, he is the mm -hmm. leading scorer right now in the number one ranked team give in the nation. Up, uh, give it up. Seriously. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Coming up next, want a steamy romance, an awesome career, or just want to have a great day? Mm -hmm. Wait till you see our next guest plan. It's all for you. And while you're at it, why not add a toned body to that list? In just a little bit, I show you a new total body workout that's going to keep you climbing to the top. We'll be right back.